Hey guys, welcome back to Pompoween. Since you guys asked for witches, today I'm doing the Wicked Witch of the West, also known as Elphaba. And today I'm going to do things a little bit different for you guys because you ask me all the time how I remove all of this. I'm not only going to show you how I apply this makeup, I'm going to show you how I take it off. So today I've partnered up with Dermalogica to show you how I use the pre-cleanse balm to take off all my Halloween makeup. So if you want to see how I do that, stick to the very end. You won't regret it. I promise. And I'm also really happy to announce that I'm doing two giveaways with them. Not one, but two. One here on YouTube and one over on Instagram. And each giveaway is going to have three winners. So six people are going to get the pre-cleanse balm. I'm going to leave all the details down below for what you need to do to enter this giveaway. All right, now let's get to it. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like as well. Why not? Or wait till the end of the video to make sure you really like it. But I mean, hey, why, why wouldn't you like it is what I want to know. Also, I'm aware that my hands don't match my face, okay? Don't, don't at me. Don't, don't come into my comments being like, oh, she didn't paint her hands. Yeah, because I'm lazy. For my base, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Color Cream in the color M302. And this is a water-based color, but it's cream. You don't have to activate it with water. And I'm going to use a super dense fluffy brush for this to try to get the most even application that I can. I'm sort of dragging the color all over my face while it's still wet, and it sets very quickly, so you have to work fast. That's why I'm working in little sections. And then once it's dry, I'm going in with a second layer, but this time, instead of dragging the brush, I'm patting it on. And look at the difference a second layer makes. So you just want to pat because if you drag the brush, it could lift the product that's underneath. This product can be a little fidgety, but if you get the application right, the finish is super smooth and even. Don't forget to paint your neck too, and your ears in case they peek out of the wig, and wait for it to dry before you let go of your turtleneck. And I know I look like Shrek right now. Then going in with a Makeup Forever color stick in the color M400. It's just a basic yellow. I'm using the same brush and I'm patting the color on so that it doesn't move the product underneath. And I'm sorry, I was out of focus. So you just want to kind of dab, dab, dab. It's the same movement that you would do with a makeup sponge. And I'm applying the yellow on the high points of my face to highlight it and give it dimension. Because whenever you paint your full face with face paint, it looks flat. So you have to add dimension. You have to contour, girl. So I'm basically just applying the yellow everywhere that I want light to bounce off of, if that makes sense. I'm also applying it under the hollows of my cheeks, just so that my contour looks a little bit more snatched when I do it. And see how just by highlighting it already looks like I'm contoured a bit? Then with a Makeup Forever color stick in the color M100, this is black, I'm going to start contouring. I'm using the same brush, and I'm barely getting any product on it. This is a very intensely pigmented product and I don't want to go overboard with my contour so I'm going very little by little, working my way up gradually. And I'm just contouring everywhere I would normally. And at this point I had to run to answer the door because I got some packages delivered. So yes, I opened the door looking like this. Then I'm setting everything with the RCMA No Color Powder. I don't want to move any of the product that's underneath, so I'm just patting the powder on very lightly with a really fluffy brush. I didn't use a powder puff for this because I didn't want to risk moving anything, and this brush is really, really soft, so I knew that it wasn't going to move any of the makeup underneath. Because the color sticks are very slippery, so I didn't want to take any chances. Then going in with Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake, and yes, this is the OG packaging. I'm going to highlight my face even further. You could tell that it lost a bit of the intensity when I powdered it, so this is just just gonna bring it back out a little bit. Then using the brand new Strobe Cosmetics Divinity Palette. I've been waiting so long for this palette. I'm gonna go in first with the color Milda for my contours. And again, I'm just applying it wherever I put the cream contour on, making sure to really buff it out. And this color Milda is kind of gonna serve as my transition color for my contour. And what I mean by that is that now I'm going in with Bastet to deepen the contours. I didn't want to go straight in with Bastet because it would be too dark. So I used Milda first, then Bastet to intensify everything. Now with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, concealer in white. I'm just prepping my eyelids. And the reason I didn't use the cream color for this is because I don't really know how it performs on my eyelids, and I know that this is a good concealer for prepping them, so I just went with this instead. And I set it with the no color powder. Then going in with the NYX Press Shadow in Raven, I'm going to start drawing my eyebrows. And I wanted these to be very arched, very sharp, and I'm able to draw this shape because I shave half my eyebrows off. If you don't have the same freedom that I do, I would suggest covering up your eyebrows. If you don't know how to cover your brows, I have a tutorial on how to do it. I'm going to link it up here and down below. I also decided to get creative with my brows and added this pointy inner corner. I don't know, I just thought it looked cool and I thought it made her look more wicked. 
Then going in with the NYX gel liner in Jet Black, I'm just going to intensify that brow even more, making the ends really sharp and really dark. Then I'm taking the yellow color stick to clean up the brow and highlight that brow bone. I'm just using it like you would use concealer to clean up your brows and setting it with a bit of powder. Then going back in with Milda, I'm gonna start my eyes, and I'm applying it really heavily on the bottom lash line and taking it into my crease, extending it to my outer corner. Then going in with Bastet to intensify all that, really blending those two colors together, bringing that shadow also under the inner corner of my eyebrow. Then to darken things up a little bit more, I'm going in with a Creepy Cute palette using the color Void. It's a matte black. Now it is time for the glittery goodness that is the Smashbox Bold Glitter palette. First I'm going to apply the green all over my lid using a flat brush. You actually don't need to use your fingers to apply these shadows, it's kind of amazing. Then I'm taking the black eyeshadow on the outer corner just to give my eyes a little bit more depth. I'm also taking that black into the crease. Yes, I want a glittery crease, okay, don't judge me. Then I'm taking the gold and popping it right in the center of my lid, kind of creating a halo effect, but not really. And then taking that black again on my bottom lash line and blending it down so that the glitters are pretty apparent. Then going in with a Strobe Cosmetics eyeshadow in Vigor. It is a very shimmery lime green and I'm using that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. It looks so pretty against this green skin. I went ahead and used it as a highlighter on my brow bone, on my cheekbone, just everywhere. Look, with and without, this really helps to add dimension to the face. Applying it heavily on the bridge and tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and my chin. Then going in with a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Friday, I'm going to start outlining my lips by taking it on a small lip brush. And I wanted to keep the shape kind of classic, so I really rounded out the cupid's bow, but I also kind of extended the outer corners to give it a little, a little something, a little twist. So I just basically made them pointy. Then going in with a Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle lipstick in the color Midnight Wasabi and I'm just filling in the rest of my lips with this and I'm really blending it into the black to get a really nice ombre effect. I'm so happy I got this lipstick. It was perfect for this. Then going in with a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean, I'm going to line my waterline and apply it close to my lash line, both bottom and top. Then I'm going to set that with a Melt Cosmetics Bonnie Eyeshadow from the Gemini palette. This palette is... Uh, amazing. And this is honestly the blackest eyeshadow I've ever seen. You have to be super careful with it. And I'm just using it to kind of create a cat eye shape, but a very smoky cat eye. Then going in with a Kush mascara to coat my lashes. Then going in with the Rouge and Rogue lashes in the style Luminara. And pro tip, never blow on lashes even when you're doing your own makeup. First of all, it's unhygienic. Second of all, you'll get used to blowing on them. And then if you go to do a client's makeup, you'll end up blowing on them just out of sheer habit. So don't do it. And I started to get shiny, so I just powdered again, and I ended up doing this a few times throughout this look. And then I decided I wanted to intensify my contour a little bit since my eyebrows and my lips are really, really dark. And I'm taking Vigor very lightly and applying it to the center of my lips just to give it a slight sheen. Now it's time for the wig and hat. Look at how big this hat is, you guys. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. That's what she said. And that's it. I actually really, really liked how this turned out. And now that the makeup part is done, I'm going to show you guys something that I never show you, which is the removal. So stay tuned if you want to watch that. And I have a little secret to tell you guys. Please don't hate me for this, but I've never watched Wicked. I know, that's really bad. I know I have to. I know I have to. I'm gonna. I'm... I promise I'm going to. I just have no social life right now. I have no no life right now because of 31 days of Halloween. So after Halloween's over, I'm going to get around to watching it. I promise. So now that the makeup's done, it's unfortunately time to take it off. I wish I had a cute little Halloween party to go to because I actually really like this look. But it's the middle of the week and I'm sitting at home. But it's a good thing that I have to take it off because then I get to show you guys. Okay, so first up... Taking off this ridiculously big hat. It's so big. That's what she said. Next up, the wig's coming off. This look actually looks kind of cool with my hair. And I can't believe how good my hair looks after being in a wig cap. Like, what sort of sorcery is this? Okay, but to keep my hair out of my face, I always put on, like, a little headband or something. Gorgeous. Then the most satisfying part of any night... Tell me this is not the best feeling when you come home and you take off your lashes. Ah, oh, it's like everything's so bright. Now we can begin. So normally I would do this over the sink, but today I've got a big old tub of water in front of me. 
Let's get to it. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that Dermalogica is a brand that I absolutely love and that I've been using for years. And before they had the pre-cleanse balm, they actually had the pre-cleanse, which is an oil. And they're similar products, but the balm is my favorite because it comes with this little mitt that is super handy for when taking off Halloween makeup. I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, so the way you use it is... You want to put some on the little mitt, like that. Then you're going to rub it on to dry skin. And you're just going to rub it in. Rub, rub, rub. And it's going to melt away all your makeup. And it's safe to apply on the eyes too, so it gets literally all of your makeup. And lips. Okay, so I'm only going to do half for now because I want to take pictures of half and half but I'll come back and show you the rest on camera too. So now that you've really rubbed it in, you're gonna wanna take some water. Ooh, it's nice and warm. You're gonna take some water, just a little bit, and you're gonna start emulsifying the balm. So instead of just going in and rinsing, I like to emulsify it and really rub it in. And then once you've emulsified it, you can rinse it off. So I just, in the sink, I just go and rinse it off, but since I don't have a sink, I'm gonna use a little washcloth. Told you it was easy. All right, so I'm gonna take a little before and after picture and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, now I've taken pictures and you'll understand when you see my Instagram feed, all right? Now let's do the other side. And this takes off waterproof mascara, it takes off literally everything. Get your ears if you've got paint on them. <laughs> oh, under my nose. Okay, and I usually rinse off my little mitt, get some water, and I just emulsify it to make sure everything breaks down really well. Get around my eyes. With the mitt, it can be a little hard to get like right in the corner of your eye, so that's why it's important to go in and massage it in afterwards. And then you can take it off. So weird not doing this over a sink, but I have to show you guys, so. It's that easy. It's literally the swipe of a washcloth. Or, Sometimes if I'm doing something that's really involved and has body painting, I'll massage it all on my skin and then hop in the shower. And then that's it. You don't have to worry about washing it over a sink. You can just rub, rub, rub right before you get in the shower, hop in, and then you're good. Now this is the first step in your cleansing routine. That's why it's called pre-cleanse. So after you've pre-cleansed, you're going to cleanse. And I'm gonna be using the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. So this is just a regular cleanser. I'm getting my skin wet. There, see, it's like a little gel. I'm just gonna rub, rub, rub it in. Both of these products are really good for all skin types. I have combination skin, so I can't use anything that's too drying or too heavy. And I also have acne prone skin, so if I use anything too heavy, I break out. And you guys know how many looks I've been doing for Halloween. And my skin has actually been getting better since I first started. So then you just want to get some water on there. Ideally, I would be doing this in the sink or in the shower. And then... And that's it. It really is that simple. Everyone always tells me like, oh, it must be horrible taking all that makeup off. Not really. <laughs> it's really, really easy. Rub this on before the shower, use this in the shower, and you're good to go. And now you just have to finish off with your favorite moisturizer, and that's it. It's so weird finishing a video off with a bare face. This is new to me. So I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions regarding either the makeup or the pre-cleanse or anything, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Removing makeup is not a daunting task, or at least it doesn't have to be. You just have to know how to do it. 
Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another day of Pompoween. I'll see you then. Bye!